In the headlines, Prime Minister Skerritt warns opposition protests are negatively affecting the country. The Dominica Labour Party to tone down its political campaign with a gospel concert this weekend. And the Dominica Public Service Union not happy with pace of salary negotiations with government. I am Andrea Louis with the Channel 5 News. Back with the details after this. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always-on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flo. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new all-in bundle. With flow, it only gets better. Thank you for staying with us. First up, protest action, which began peacefully at Lindo Park on Monday, ended up in confrontation with police on Victoria Street last night. The action was part of continuing calls for electoral reform, which appear to have intensified since the announcement of the 6th December elections due in a little over two weeks' time. We are saying once the playing field is level, we will accept the results. If you are so powerful, Mr. Skerritt, well, let us contest the election in a free and fair manner. Let us clean up the list. You heard the brothers mentioning about their dead family members whose names are still on the list. Prime Minister Skerritt says protesters who clashed with police in Roseau Monday night are seeking to tarnish and destroy the image and economic well-being of the country. Mr. Skerritt says if the opposition is confident it will receive the mandate to lead in 18 days, then that behavior makes no sense. The elections on December 6 are being held under the same electoral laws which have governed Dominica's free and fair elections and democratic process since our attainment of independence. Both the current Labour government and the UWP opposition have been, have been elected th through this exact process and under the same laws and conditions. It is this, this same process and those same laws that saw the United Workers Party increase its seat count in the last general elections in Dominica and also its share of the popular vote. It is with this same process and these same laws that the United Workers' Party and its supporters are forecasting a massive win for the opposition on December 6. So one must ask, what really is the reason and the cause for this gangster-like action? The Prime Minister says he is concerned about the impact of these protests. On November 17th or thereabout, the UWP informed the public that it was proposing to hold a gathering 
at Lindo Park in Goodwill. Proceed through the city on foot and by car and end with a public meeting at Newtown. The event was scheduled for Monday, November 18th at 4 p.m., at 4.30 p.m., when it would still be daylight. For a reason best known to the United Workers Party, the walk ac across town did not start until the sun had virtually set. It was known to the protesters that the daily and nightly protests had caused Victoria Street outside the State House to be barricaded and sealed off. Yet, the protesters made their way directly to the barriers, arriving there about 7.15 p.m. Once they arrived at the barriers, the protesters sang, danced, and played music uninterrupted. Shortly thereafter, some of them began shouting at the police and other security personnel who were manning the barriers. A protester on a megaphone repeatedly called for the removal of the barriers so that protesters could make their way to the UWP public meeting at Newtown. It is significant that despite the protesters insisting they were using this route to get to a UWP meeting in Newtown, that the UWP had not scheduled or set up any public meeting anywhere in Newtown. The protesters were asked by the security forces to use another route to go to Newtown, but they refused, insisting they had to pass on Victoria Street. Some of the protesters be became abusive, and the protester holding a megaphone could be heard and seen issuing threats to the security personnel, saying that if the security did not remove the barricades, they would soon see what the crowd was going to do. One pro so other protesters were shouting that, and I quote, it was going to be war, end of quote. In all the chaos, the security personnel stood in position calmly behind the barricades. As the behavior of the crowd became more aggressive, protesters at the front attempted to storm the barriers and fight officers trying to keep the barriers in place. At that point, protesters broke through the barricades and, in and initiated violent contact with members of the security forces. When the crowd did not comply with requests made and instructions issued by the security personnel, the security forces used tear gas to disperse the members of the crowd in an attempt to prevent the situation from escalating and erupting into greater violence or injuries. We must all thank God that no one was seriously injured. The Prime Minister says the impact of the protest on one business place was immediate. I have been informed that guests having dinner at Fortune Hotel were also impacted by the street protests and tear gas. To ensure their safety, the hotel's security guards placed the hotel on lockdown by closing the main gates. The situation at the hotel was one of fear and panic. Hotel staff asked guests to go to the rooms and many guests fled, abandoning their dinner as the night's entertainment came to an abrupt halt. What is of even greater concern is the fact that former Prime Minister Mr. Edison James was present at the protest, and so was Deputy Leader of the United Workers Party, Mr. Joshua Francis, both of whom could have told protesters that there was no meeting at Newtown and could have injected some sense of calm and restraint. Only a few days ago, the UWP protesters blocked the passage of a van taking supplies to the hospital. All without a word of apology, disapproval, or condemnation from the UWP leader and candidates. Now we are told they are actively seeking to lure some pro professional groups in the public service and other general staff onto the streets 
as part of their protests. These protests are essentially to provide a daily source of video and photo footage for transmission to the international media and select international agencies. It is part of an evolving narrative to suggest that law and order have broken down in Dominica and that elections set for December 6 cannot be free and fair. It is their precursor to what would happen were they not to be successful on Elections Day. The Prime Minister's full address can be seen on his Facebook page and on YouTube. In related news, one protester has pushed back at certain aspects of the Prime Minister's address to the nation. He insists Monday night's protest action was not a UWP initiative. The rally in Lindo Park was organized by WIDA people, that was Dr. IP and them. That's not a UWP um, opposition thing. Why is he trying to tie UWP with that? That is wrong. That is a blatant lie. Secondly, there was no meeting in Newton for the crowd to have wanted to pass through to go to Newton. That is another blatant lie that the Prime Minister is telling. The protesters from day before, as we informed, after Lindo Park, we will be walking to the president's house to ask to see him. Then he proceeds to talk about Fort Young. Now, I'm not against any tourists, but Dominica is a strong country. Long before tourists came to Dominica in droves, we had a strong manufacturing economy. We had a strong agricultural-based economy. I'm not against the tourists, but I will say this. I prefer electoral reform and complete voter registration than any tourists coming to Dominica because we as a nation are supposed to be more strong than that even with our tourist arrivals our manufacturing base should have been strong our agriculture base should even be strong girl our exports are low our imports are high the guy has wrecked the economy and now he comes and he's trying to pass blame on the opposition leaders who have provided with many ideas that he has completely rejected Still on the political scene, the Dominica Labour Party has taken a decision to make some changes to its events calendar this weekend in an effort to help reduce political tensions in the country. Here is Prime Minister Skerritt in an address to the nation on Tuesday. Fellow Dominicans, I ask you to join me in prayer on this nomination day and as the country moves to election day on December 6. It is consistent with this noble ideal that the leadership of the Dominican Labour Party has taken a decision to suspend all political activities this coming Sunday and to encourage its members and supporters to join the Catholic Church in observance of Christ the King at the Windsor Park Stadium. Indeed, even before Sunday, the Dominican Labour Party will be hosting the National Gospel extravaganza on Friday, November 22nd, at Cassibus Playing Field. This event starts at 6 p.m. and will feature, once again, internationally acclaimed gospel singer, Pastor Donnie McClookin, along with the best of local gospel talent on Dominica. This is a concert to which we're inviting all Dominicans so we can rid ourselves of the stain and the blotch associated with last evening disturbances, and hopefully avoid a repeat of February 7th, two years ago, when very serious attempts were made to destroy our historic capital city. I appeal to all Dominicans, resident at home and abroad, to denounce the pursuit of violence by those who should know better and to allow peace and tranquility to reign in this country for the next seven, 17 days in the first instance and in the aftermath of the election, general elections. In multiple stories, the Dominica Association of Industry and Commerce has called on the Dominican electorate to desist from violent acts during the election season. Monday night saw the city of Roseau subject to rioting and protest action as the fires were set in the streets, roads were blocked and civilians clashed with police. 
Executive Director of the DAIC, Lizra Fabian, says the country has worked hard to recover from the impact of previous weather systems and must not regress to the immediate post-Maria stage. The DAIC as a private sector organization would like to caution all citizens and political parties, as well as their supporters, to observe the tenets of peaceful exercise of the electoral franchise in the lead-up to and into the general election. We have worked hard to survive and bounce back from the traumas of two destructive weather events, which had significant adverse effects to individuals and business owners alike. And we must also remember the human catastrophe associated with this fallout of Hurricane Maria and the losses that were suffered. Our country has bounced back to regain a sense of normalcy because of the diligence and togetherness of the people of Dominica. We encourage everyone to make every effort to ensure that this is preserved. Fabian says the public should refrain from engaging in any activity that will affect law and order in the country. It also must be noted that any sequence of events which can and will compromise law and order in our country and will create further shocks to the business community and the confidence of our country will compromise jobs for our locals and our economy and must be condemned. These events can and will also compromise investor confidence and will cause us to quite easily step back into the dark days of the immediate post-Hurricane Maria catastrophe. Equally, we urge that the security forces be guided by an even-handed approach to law enforcement. And this means that observing the preservation of peace and the protection of the citizenry, private and public property, coupled with the freedom of movement while respecting the rights of individuals to express themselves, as is customary in a democracy. The DAIC executive director is also calling on Dominicans to be responsible in their dissemination of imagery from Dominica during this election season. We should all be mindful at all times of the power of instant media and the impressions that it may give of the island, again compromising the livelihood of businesses, both large and small, and eroding the confidence of the outside world in the entire country. We must ensure that our actions today do not negatively affect our lives and livelihoods after this election period is over and that respect for law and order is paramount and essential at this time. You are watching the Channel 5 News. Stay tuned for more after the break. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All-In Bundle. With flow, it only gets better. If you're HIV positive or have an STI, having unprotected sex with multiple partners puts them in grave danger. You'll expose every partner and their present and future partners to HIV or another STI. Use a condom every time you have sex. You can live a productive life even if diagnosed with HIV. Remember, early detection is key to your survival. Be responsible, protect yourself and others. Help stop the spread of HIV and other STIs. There's a reason you get up on a morning. A reason you pick yourself up, start the day. Maybe it's sheer grit. Maybe it's your ethics. Maybe it's because you know people like you are waiting. For people just like you. We all have our reasons. And for Republic Bank, that reason is you. Every little thing, every big thing. It's all about making a difference in your life. Because after 182 years, if it's one thing we're sure about, is that 
The difference is you. We're here to help. Republic Bank. We're the one for you. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always-on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up. Switch to Flow. It only gets better. Welcome back. The country's leading telecommunications service provider, Flow Dominica, has launched its 2019 Christmas campaign. Commercial manager for Flow Dominica, Lauren Mitchell, says the company's Christmas campaign will make good on its promises of its April launching of the Always On plans. I'm happy as we do our launch today to announce that for any customer who activates any of our Always On prepaid plans, will get three times the data. So back in April, when we launched those plans, we said that we were going to remove the word megabytes from our mobile customer's memory, right? And today, we're making it even bigger and better. So a one-day customer who would traditionally, when you activate a one-day, always-on combo plan, you would get one gig of data. Today, if you activate our always on one day plan, you would now get three gigs of data. Those who activate the seven day plan will now get nine gigs of data and those who activate the 30 day plan will get 30 gigs of data. Mitchell explained another aspect of the Christmas campaign is prepaid customers being able to choose what they want for Christmas once they top up $45 within the month. So you top up $10 today, tomorrow you may do 20, the next day you may do 15. Once you get to $45 within the month, you get to choose what you want for Christmas. So whether it's one gig of data or 100 minutes that you can use to call any flow number, the customer will be given the option to choose. So once you get to $45 top up within the month, you get a free gift from flow and the customer chooses between one gig of data or 100 minutes that you can use to call any flow number, whether it's a mobile or landline. And postpaid customers are not to be forgotten, as they too can benefit from Flow's Christmas campaign. For postpaid customers, there is something special for you as well, whether you're an existing postpaid customer or you're new to the, or you're thinking of joining the Flow postpaid family, we also have something extra special for you. So existing postpaid customers, you get unlimited talk, on weekends, right? So unlimited talk on your postpaid plan every weekend from 12.01 Saturday morning to 11.59 p.m. on Sunday. Sunday night, you get unlimited talk. And you're not just limited to talk on the Flow Network. You're also, you also get minutes that you can use on any network in Dominica. And for those of you that are thinking of joining the Postpaid family and you're looking for that great handset deal as well, we have the Samsung Galaxy A10, which is new to the portfolio as well. You actually get that handset for $159 if you're signing up for a medium or a large or um, always on Postpaid plan. The Dominica Public Service Union to make known its next course of action in salary negotiations with the government. This following a meeting of the general membership of the PSU on Tuesday. According to General Secretary of the PSU, Thomas Leta, the union submitted its salary proposals for the 2018-2021 triennium in December 2018. The union says to date it has yet to receive a satisfactory response from government despite their meetings regarding its salary proposals. We made it clear to the government that um, while we are willing to work with them to see increased performance in the public service because at the end of it the country, the union and everyone is going to benefit but we cannot run from the fact that negotiation is the substantive issue that we are discussing and therefore that matter has to be on the table. 
why at this point in time with such a major event about to take place in the country that any government would not come up with a proposed salary increase to public officers. Later, who was speaking to the media on Monday, says the union is extremely dissatisfied with the pace at which salary negotiations is taking place and believes the government needs to speed up the process. We believe that the pace at which negotiations are taking place is very, very slow and we are dissatisfied. We are not happy with it. And uh, in keeping with the union's policy that we call our members to brief them on the status of negotiations after a certain number of sessions, we expect a large turnout to that meeting and for us to decide as to how we move from there. Dominica joins over 170 countries around the world in observing Global Entrepreneurship Week this week. Coordinator of the Dominica Youth Business Trust, DYBT, Karian Remy Timothy, says among the highlights for the week is Wednesday's graduation ceremony, which will highlight young entrepreneurs. This year's theme, Building Resilience, Local is the New Focal, call for Dominicans to center their attention on our local entrepreneurs and enterprises. DYBT will be involved in various media events promoting entrepreneurs during this week. The DYBT 15th graduation ceremony will be held on Wednesday the 20th of November from 3 p.m. at the St. Alphonsus Parish Hall. 22 potential entrepreneurs will receive certification for completing the entrepreneurial development program. 37 existing entrepreneurs attended and completed the three-day small business assistant facility training. And 36 young persons from the community of Grand Bay will also receive certification for attending the first community outreach entrepreneurial development training. Remy Timothy says the DYBT keeps encouraging young entrepreneurs to be creative in their business ideas through the awarding of grant money. The Business, Innovation, business Plan Innovation Award, BPIA, is an initiative of the Commonwealth Youth Programme which was introduced to the Dominican Youth Business Trust in 2005. The objective of these awards are to encourage competitiveness among young entrepreneurs in the development of innovative and feasible business ideas, to improve on the quality of business plan produced by young entrepreneurs in order to satisfy the standards required by financial institution and to reduce the frustration usually associated with the rejection of business plans. It also aims to promote the use of local resources in an effort to add value to goods and services, thus expanding the customer base in the tourist industry and creating new market opportunities in the region. The DYBT coordinator says evidence shows Global Entrepreneurship Week has opened up gateways for young business people. What we've seen from hosting Global Entrepreneurship Week is that the reach of DYBT gets further. Communities maybe that would not be aware that there is a DYBT or there is a circle of entrepreneurship globally that hosting GW every November. Persons hear about it, look forward to it. The entrepreneurs got, get the opportunity to showcase, you know, showcase everything that they have during that week and the focus is on entrepreneurs. We have various media activities over the week that will make persons know about the different services and products that young persons are doing and persons are tempted, oh, I never knew there was that young person doing this. Or, I never knew they used to do that. So it really opens that gateway for young persons to showcase and promote what they're doing as young entrepreneurs. Global Entrepreneurship Week ends on Friday, 22nd November. And a lack of finances is believed to be one of the main reasons why the Dominica Freedom Party has decided not to contest the 6th December general elections. Party leader Kent Vital said at a news conference last week, stark financial realities and a weak economy were among the hindrances to Freedom Party fielding candidates this time around. Vital says the DFP was able to identify potential candidates to contest the December 6th polls, but there were significant setbacks in terms of finances. Vital believes much of the support that the Freedom Party would have received went to the United Workers Party as money is limited and individuals wanted to give the UWP a fighting chance. 
there are business people who loved, I remember one particular person, I cannot call her name obviously, but who said to me, I like what you guys are doing. And um, I want to contribute to what you guys are doing. Um, but and others say that we would love to contribute, even very recently, we would love to contribute and we'll see what we can do. But we needed the country to go forward. We needed to throw most of our support behind the United Workers Party. So people were, although they're loving what we were doing, they were making decisions in terms of the best use of their financing, given the weak economy, given the posture of the economy. They were making those kinds of finances, um, decisions. But these are the realities we have to face. So you don't be benefited from more of that kind of financing. The little there is to go wrong, because people were saying, we have limited finances, we have to make a choice, so we have to put more of that towards, towards the United Workers Party. So that's part of the reason we have to, to face reality and say, you know something, this is the mood of the country, this is what the people want, this is what the finances are saying, we will support you guys for the next term around, but this time around, it's country first we want to get rid of this albatross around our necks. The Freedom Party says it has had to reject certain offers of funding for its campaign based purely on principle. Even we ourselves who approach what you call dirty money, but we, a party like our party who believe in honesty and good principles and so forth, we do not want to accept dirty money to compete with them and put our people in a kind of a, you know, a financial struggle where those who give you will, will ensure because one person said, we can help, but we'll, we'll make sure that you all win. So if you will make sure we win, it means that <laughs> what you will do is beyond what we expect you to do, and so forth. So all those things you have to stay away from, and so forth. But I can tell you, finance is a major issue. And I mean, you see what they had in launching you know, one candidate in Rosa, fireworks. I mean, I've never seen that. And if I was a labor right, to be honestly, I would turn away, because that is too excessive. Flow helps you stay connected to what matters. Simple plans and a better network mean that you can enjoy seven days of unlimited social messaging, three gigabytes of reliable data to use as you like, 700 local anywhere calls and texts with the always on prepaid plan, all for $29. Keep your number when you switch to Dominica's most reliable LTE network. Buy wherever you top up, switch to Flow. It only gets better. Here are some tips to reduce mosquito presence in and around your home. Keep water storage containers properly covered. Remove containers that can collect water from your surroundings. Keep garbage bins tightly covered. Pick up your litter and remove all tires from your yard. Keep gutters free of leaves and twigs to prevent stagnant water. Prevent Zika, Dengue and Chikungunya. Fight the bite! This is a public service announcement from the Dominica Red Cross. This message is supported by Flow. A new in-home experience is here. All your services bundled into one simple plan. Faster, more reliable Wi-Fi so that you can binge, play and stream uninterrupted. Unlimited Flow local landline minutes mean you can talk and talk and talk. Plus the best in TV entertainment with over 120 channels and 29 in HD. All for $160 a month with the new All-In Bundle. With Flow, it only gets better. To end the news, the headlines again. Prime Minister Skerrit warns opposition protests are negatively affecting the country. The Dominica Labour Party to tone down its political campaign with a gospel concert this weekend. And the Dominica Public Service Union not happy with pace of salary negotiations with the government. Feel free to contact us at news at marpin2k4.com. You can also access or pass the newscast on our YouTube channel. On behalf of the entire production team, I am Andrea Louis, and to all of our viewers around the world, thank you so much for watching. Join us next time.